I am gonna explain the crap out of that game. What, you don't know how to play spit? Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on, let's go. Woo! Hello. I've got a good one for you today. It's a fast moving two player card game called Spit. Spit is different than most other games because players don't take turns. They simultaneously play as fast as they can. Some people describe it as a two player version of Solitaire, which is true. But according to this book, we don't know if one or two player versions came first. Let's break it down. How to play Spit. Hey, wait, what are you doing there? <laughs> Stop that! First, we'll set it up. You'll need two players and a 52 card deck. Remove the jokers and randomly choose a dealer who deals out all the cards. 26 cards each. Each player gathers their cards and deals out five piles. Deal one card face up and four cards face down. Then, skip the first card, deal a card face up on the second and one face down on the rest. Repeat until each pile has a card face up. These piles are called stock piles. Your first stock pile should now be one card, and the fifth will be five cards total. That leaves each player with 11 cards. These are your spit cards. Hold your spit cards in one hand and don't look at them. That's it, you did it. You're all set up to play spit. Rawr. Now let's start playing. This game is played over several rounds and the goal is to get rid of all your cards. When both players are ready, at the same time they'll both call out spit and turn over their top spit card onto the center of the table, like so. This starts two spit piles. To win the round, you must be the first player to move all your cards from your five stock piles onto the two spit piles. To move a card to a spit pile, the card being moved must be one higher or one lower than the top card of the spit pile. So if the top card is a 7, you can move an 8 or a 6 to it. Suit doesn't matter, and you can move stock cards to either spit pile. Also, you can loop around. What I mean is, if you have an ace, you can move either a king or a 2. There's also a few ways that you can move cards around within your stockpiles. Whenever you reveal a face down card, you get to flip it over. If you create an empty space, you can move a card to it. You can also move cards of the same value on top of each other. For instance, you can move either of these jacks on top of the other. You'll need to race to move your cards to the spit pile before your opponent. And it's just a matter of whoever gets there first. As soon as a card touches a pile, it counts as played, and you can't take it back. If one player can't make any moves, they have to wait until they can. But if you reach a point where both players can't make any moves, they each call out spit, placing their next spit card onto a spit pile, and play continues as before. The first player to move up all their stock cards wins the round. Now each player must take one of the spit piles. The player that won the round gets to choose which of the two piles to take. They should try to guess which is the smaller pile, but they aren't allowed to count them or touch them in any way before they pick. Both players shuffle the remaining cards together with their new pile. Now one player should have less cards than the other. Play starts again with a new round. Continue playing rounds, and when you win, keep taking the smaller pile so you have less and less cards. So that's the basics of the game right there. Next you'll need to know about some things that will come up as you become low on cards. <laughs> so during a round, if a player runs out of spit cards in their hand, then the round continues. But the player that still has cards in hand must choose which of the two spit piles to place their spit cards on. They can only place spit cards on their choice for the rest of the round, but both players can still move stock cards to both piles. If play becomes blocked, meaning both can't make moves and neither have spit cards left, then the player with less stock cards left wins the round. 
Now, eventually, at the start of a round, someone will not have enough cards to finish dealing. In that case, they just deal out their cards as far as they can and flip over the top one of each. Obviously, that won't leave them with any spit cards, so at that point you'll be playing with one spit pile. When playing with only one spit pile, the player that wins the round doesn't take any cards. And if you're the first person to get rid of all your cards, you've won at spit. Congratulations. Hey. So, like most card games, Spit has a few different ways that you can play it. I've always played that the winner of the round chooses which Spit pile to take. I prefer that way because it makes it very important to win the round. Another common way to play is that at the end of a round, both players slap their hand on a Spit pile and take the pile that they managed to slap first. It's just preference. You should play the way that you think is most fun. If you like fast-paced card games like this, there's some more in my playlist. Take a look at Egyptian Rat Screw. That's a fast-paced card game for three or more players. All right, everyone. Now it's time for you to decide if there's any buttons you want to hit. Did you like this? Did I present the rules clearly? Your comments and game requests are very welcome. And if you subscribed, I will be bringing you a new game every few weeks. And maybe I'll surprise you with your new favorite game.